Okay, today I'm doing some abstract. Um, I wanted to, I had this paper left out from the landscapes that I was doing. So I thought I'd do some abstracts, but I do it kind of backwards from what I was doing. I'll show you on a black sheet of paper. It's easier. I've got a bunch of these drying and I'm going to print over them. But let me show you how I, I'm doing them. I'm taking this textured paper that I've got, the lace paper, and I'm cutting off a section the size that I want on my page. Now I'm using these um, decorative scissors so I don't get a straight edge, but I'm going to fix it after so there will definitely not be a straight edge. But I'm just basically cutting kind of the shape that I want for my page. And then I'm coming in and I'm ripping and teasing the edges to get those nice lace, nice lacy effect to it. I'm keeping the little pieces though. Those can go somewhere else. Some are hard to tear, some are not. This one's a bear. So I'm just getting rid of these even close to straight edges here. on my fingers. And all those little fuzzies I leave right there at the top because I'm going to use them. Now I've got this um, cutting board here and I lay this sheet down. I've got, and th there is two sides to this, the side with the most texture you want up. So I'm going to lay it down. I'm going to cover this in matte medium, especially going all the way out to those edges that I tore all those little strings. I'm going to give it a good coat of matte medium. I'm going to peel it off of here. Stick it down to here. And a little piece of paper clung to that. And I'm going to leave that. And then, and I'm not worried about getting it on the page because the whole page is going to be printed over when I'm done. Not going to get fussy. Now, the last time I go over it to take out all the lumps of get all the thicker parts that's on the outside. And you want all those strings glued, so and don't worry if you don't get one. The paint's going to paste it down if this doesn't. All right, I want that there. And I'm going to cut this. I just want a couple of these circles to show. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to rip the edges a little. Just a little. Yeah. Same thing. Lay that down. Cover it with matte medium. Make sure the whole thing is wet. You really don't need tons of matte medium for this paper, but you do, do have to make sure the whole thing is wet. Now we're going to put that right there. Same thing again, go over the top. Going to make sure everywhere that's clear is really pasted down so it stays transparent. Make sure it's stuck down on all the edges. Some places don't want to stick down, but they will if you keep going. And I'm not worried about loose pieces of paper here and there. In fact, I'm kind of embracing it. All right, now let's go for a little piece of this. regular scissors this one doesn't want to right there I guess maybe like that okay this one I'm not gonna do too much with we'll leave it as is coat of 
and this cutting board will clean right off. I mean, I just use a SOS or something. Clean it right out. Oh, I like that. This is so, sort of faux chincolé, which I've done before. This is just going to give it texture, and then we're going to use stencils and paint and cover it. That's that one done. I like that. I might put a little something over here, but let's let it dry, and then we'll check it. Here's one that's drying. It's drying a little bumpy, but we don't even have to worry about that. We will flatten it later. But as you can see, it's got all the different textures on it. And when these are dry, I'm going to do about five of them. I've got four done. I need to do one more. But when these are all dry, then we'll come back and print them. Okay, so these are all dry. They're a little buckled, but I'm not worried about that. I flatten. If I like it, in the end, I'll flatten it out between books and that. This one's a little bit damp, but I'm not worried. But here's the ones I'm going to be... And I'm just going to gel print right over them. I've got two blacks and three of the mixed media paper. And I took out three stencils that I used to use a lot that I haven't used in forever. And as you can see, they're grungy, so they're going to be leaving stuff and picking stuff up. And it's going to be. And I've got some scraps of paper over here I may use to mask areas off. And I don't know. For stamps, I'm probably going to bring out these old mask ones that I have. So I like these. Here I am deciding stuff on the fly. Here's one. And it really is that you're not going to probably see what the masks are after I get done layering this stuff. So I got three mask stamps. They're just cardboard. Alright, so, and I'm going to do it in wild colors, and I'm not going to worry about a thing. It's just play day. I've been working on my, my other YouTube channel that's coming up with the thrift selling, so that was fun. Who knew that was going to be fun? Now this is a, I don't know. A vivid blue from Amsterdam, but it's old and there's probably not much left in it, if anything at all. I'm trying to use up my old paints. Let's see if we can get enough. There we go. Enough to make a, a color line there, just something. Yeah, there you go. And I'm not going to be cleaning the plate in between, so I don't care what dries and what doesn't and what comes up. So I'm just going to be going for it. Well, let's use this other red, see if this is... And these are all, like I said, old tubes that need to be cut open and used. So, I am just playing with the, the dregs of what I have. And I don't have any new of these colors, so I, this is also a way for me to see, well, what should I be ordering? Alright, now let's put down this in areas. pull up a little bit of that. Need a scrap piece of paper. So let's just use this as our scrap piece. And as we're fiddling around, it's drying, of course. But that's okay. Alright, we're just pulling up some of it. Go in with the yellow. Ooh, way too much. Let's use the sprayer. Let's pull that down a little bit. I like the little sprayers because you can go into little spots.
Okay, now we're going to pull some of that up. Just in places. And then we'll print over one of the white ones and see what happens. How about this one? All right. Let's see how much of the texture I'm getting. Very interesting. All right, now let's hit it with some blues. I think the blue just went away. Blues and purples, maybe. Whoa. A lot of blues and purples. Interesting. Let's see if we can pull up a lot of that glop in the middle. yellow because when they hit it's going to be mud. So let's go with red in the middle. This is a different red. It's a brighter red. And I am layering on the paint because it's got to get in between all that. All right, let's put this down. And go this way with it. scrap paper. I got lots of old scrap paper here. I oh, just have to get to it. We're gonna pull that. We're gonna go back over it with a little more color. And down here I want some letters, some numbers. So we're looking for a grunge look. So I'm not cleaning in between. Let's use a different page. Yeah, and you can flatten these out later. All right. I kind of like that one. interesting. All right, let's add something to the top of this one. And we're going to put down this and that. Well, not quite like that. Yeah, the red and the yellow are mixing together. And I want some of this, if I can get any more. Small amount, maybe. And let's see if I've got anything that will come up. Let's do it on this page. And the last two are the blacks. And I can do another layer over these if I want. But I just wanted a lot of grunge on it before I tried the black pages. You know, that's minimal. I can do a little more on that one. But let's see what we can get for the blacks. I'm just going to do the whole thing in jumbled. Whatever. 
numbers, whatever. It's very warm out here tonight. Very warm. Today, it's daytime. Let's do a little red. Yeah, this is the tail end of all these tubes, and they've been sitting in the bottom, and as warm as it's been lately, if I don't use them up, they are not going to be usable. So I figured this is this is a kind of random project that would be perfect for this kind of random project for random bits of paint. Alright, let's see. What's going to come up on this? Oh, very strange. Not liking it at all. Well, we'll go over it with blue. that I used the last time. It doesn't really matter. We're going to give this a little, little love with the blue. But you need tissue paper to get that down because you got the thickness of the card. Because this is cardstock I'm doing it on. the black. And then the thickness of all that paper. And then the thickness of the... Okay, that, that improved it a little. You really can't see it, but it just cut through some of that red. And I probably will take a brush and paint to these at the end. So. Let's do some... Pull a little bit off the top here. And let's put... We'll do this in two steps. I don't know how well this is going to work. This is the mixing one. But like I said, I'm just playing. And then I will get down. I'll probably make some more of these tomorrow. Since this video is not going out until Sunday, I might be able to put the pictures at the end if I finish those. You're thinking to yourself, what is she doing? And she's thinking to herself, I don't know what I'm doing. But I just want to pull some of it up. I don't want all of it. That is interesting. Unfortunately, right here where I wanted to cover, it didn't cover, so let's see if we can go find something else out of there. Okay, that's better. That's better. And that needs something, but that probably what that probably needs is a paintbrush hitting it. So, not very happy with the black ones. So I probably won't use black again. But I am happy with those. I'll show you the... Let's put this down so we can show you the results. So far, so good. 
And I have not cleaned up after the last three sessions out here. I do apologize for the mess. I will clean up. It's just... All right. There's this one. Let's pull the camera down. Do this sideways. This that one that I really like. I'm not. I don't think I'm going to touch that with anything. I like that one. And I like these fibers from these papers. They really. It's like line work. Then this one. It needs a little something. It needs a little something right in here. I don't know what I'm going to do with it. This one I really like. I probably won't do much more with that one. This one, now that I really look at it, I hate it. Yeah. Let's go up a little bit. I can see them better. There we go. And this one, which is not bad. I wish I had one of these rings over here. I might cut one out and do that, put it on there, and then... I don't know. I'll look at them, and then I'll decide. This one, like I said, is a disaster. I'll figure something out. Or I won't. I'll toss it. Yep. So I really like what happened with these. Basically, it's just um, gluing down different kinds of papers. Those uh, lace papers are what they're called, I think. And uh, printing over the top of it. With stencils and such. And see, you can't see that there are number of stencils. You can see a little bit of the honeycomb, but it didn't, wouldn't matter what stencils I use because they're going to be almost canceled out. You really can't see anywhere where there are numbers, I don't think, on any of these. So, although maybe on this one a little bit over here, if you really imagine that you'd know there were numbers. Anyhow, thank you very much for viewing my video. It's been fun. Um, this is going to be the Sunday video, so. I hope you enjoy it. Please subscribe if you want to see more. Put a like if you like it. And hit the bell icon if you want to be notified when the videos come out. Thank you very much for viewing my channel. And you have a lovely, lovely day.